Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yep, I am live. Here we go. I just uh, got the notification that I am live. Hello, everybody. Let me see. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with this app. Well, not app, but this uh, program called OBS for live streaming. So I don't have the usual, you know, how many uh, how many viewers I have at the moment. So I might be a little bit, you know, um, a little bit out of my comfort zone today because something that I haven't done before. But this is supposed to be better because I can have multiple uh, multiple um, scenes. So not just me like this, but something like this, for example. Oh, there it goes. A lot of comments. Ooh, let me let me open it up so I can see. Привет, you are live, привет, not by audio, привет, video is okay too, привет from Brazil, handsome, привет Fedor. Okay, so you guys can see the, the chat right now. This is what I have done to make it a little bit, you know, uh, more interesting, is better for you, I guess, because, you know, you see your, your, your own comments, uh, you see different scenes, and um, yeah. I want to talk about multiple things today, and let me open this document up so I can see what's up. Okay, um, first of all, he uh, hello Jenny Vixic. Jenny has been a great um, member of our community. Hey guys, hello everybody. Uh, so, I wanted to say that, uh, I want to start off with saying that we are already almost at 6k subscribers, which is amazing. I remember starting uh, with like, Probably half year in uh, my my whole journey, I would say, was uh, me with like 90 subscribers, 90 to 100 for like a half a year or even more. Uh, and then suddenly it started growing rapidly, like boom, and it started going up. And now it just keeps the, the pace up and I've been making many, many videos. And I think this is like uh, one of the major contributors to that growth. Is the fact that I have not been lazy and I have been doing many things on the channel. Uh, already we have 153 videos, I think. So it's many, it's a lot of content, and I keep creating more and more things for you guys, which is which is amazing, and I love it myself. And let me read some of your comments. Uh, Hi, Fedor, and everyone on the channel. You helped me a lot. Actually, let me show you. Uh, you helped me a lot. Thank you, everybody, for your kind words. Okay, let me actually read some from up. Here's four uh, four a.m. I just sleep for the stream door. Well, Omer, I, I I salute you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, hello everybody. Um, you are perfect. Thank you so much, <laughs> um, guys. Please, uh, while we're still having this intro type thing, please let me know what you what you like the most on the channel, what you dislike the most, what you can do, what uh, what I can do better, so like we can uh, both, so we all can work together and maybe, maybe make this even better, you know, uh, I'm always looking to improve the quality of my content, so uh, this live stream is the best format for me to get the feedback from you guys, so please let me know what you like the most and what I should do more on the channel. I already asked that on my Instagram, and those who, those of you who are not on my Instagram, shame on you. Here it is, Be Fluent in Russian. You can check it out. You can uh, um, find the link in the, in the description too. Uh, I've, I asked that question there, and I asked that question on Facebook as well. So uh, people that are, you know, um, with me on those platforms, they have been answering and we've been communicating so those of you who are not on facebook and not on instagram please fix that mistake right now and go and check it out and uh, let's talk let's chat there you made my attention for your spontane spontaneity and commitment to your channel besides your beauty oh thank you for 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 my beauty <laughs> i don't think i dislike anything from this channel it's, uh, it's just so good and so are you thank you great show that i'm watching is on netflix called silver bullet aka the in Russian major major actually can make more videos about common daily pages like like an Instagram okay yeah um, I will be doing a lot of different things let me just remove this Instagram thing uh, a lot of different things on the channel I'll, I'll be experimenting more 
because I found that with Practice Friday, um, a lot of you, like, it's been a great communication with me, with me and you guys, so I love that. Um, with Slow Russian, I've been doing many of those because you love it too. So that kind of allows me to create something, something more something different uh, because I have something already that, that is stable like Perkis Friday and Slow Russian those things are stable right now and um, like they're not gonna go anywhere so I can just simply do them on a daily basis right and you're gonna and you're gonna love it but I want to try new things try something more I am committed to finishing Winnie the Pooh um, give me just one second guys I gotta do something real quick Sorry for this pause, guys. Um, I had to let my, my family know that I'm doing this live stream so they won't distract me. Um, so it allows me to kind of experiment more to search for new things and stuff. So I'm really excited about what's to come. Uh, I'm committed to finishing the um, cartoon series with Winnie the Pooh, with Troya in Prastakvashina. Let me actually show you those things right now on this browser. Um, like, show you what I'm talking about. YouTube is going to load, but it's going to load very, very slowly. Sorry, guys. But I um, just wanted to show you and make sure that you, already, that you all know about that stuff. This is what's trending in, in, in Russia, by the way. So be fluent in Russian. I'm going to show you what I will be doing more of. And kind of just like look at the channel itself. I'm going to be fluent. Um, okay, playlists. Where are they? Where are they? Russian cartoons. So, um, is it gonna play now? I don't want this to play. So, you see, uh, Russian Winnie the Pooh 1 and episode 2. Uh, I think there's only three of them in total, and I'm gonna be doing them more. Uh, Pause it. Uh, and then see this one too, three from Prostakvashina, which is right here. Uh, there are many, many episode, episodes of that as well. And I'm going to be translating them and putting them together. So you have more content in that is actually in Russian. And then I'm going to be doing movies probably, like some scenes when I'm going to run out of uh, the cartoons. So uh, more of that is to come. And I cannot be more excited for that uh, than, than right now. Because it really, platform has developed a lot where I can try new things and see if it works or not. So uh, feel free to give me any suggestions in maybe direct messages on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever you find me, just uh, let me know what you want to see. Let me read some more comments. Uh, oh, there's a lot of them, actually. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Uh, oops, okay, let me show you what, what I'm looking at the comments. Uh, boom, where did he go? I just went to, went out a little bit. Uh, Alexa Russian and Practice Friday. Thank you, Gustavo. Can you recommend some good Russian movies? Any movies or TV shows you recommend, please? Okay, Valentine and Cat Valley. I will make a video on that since you guys are asking because I have to give it some thought because it doesn't pop up automatically out of my head. So, uh, But for now, what I would suggest, since I don't know anything off of the top of my head, is watch movies that you love uh, already, like that you know already. And watch them in Russian, since you already know the plot, you already know the development of the movie, you can easily just jump straight in into Russian translation, into Russian um, sound, right? And you can just get, like, just watch it as, a, as, a, as an educational source and not as a, as a source of, of enjo enjoyment, okay? So, uh, watch the movies that you already know and love in your own language and watch it in Russian. Okay, it's going to help you a lot. But I, I will definitely make a video about the TV shows and maybe movies um, in Russian. I mean, Russian movies and, and TV shows. So that's coming up for sure. Please, could you explain why does the end with some words change from A to U, like Mashinu? This is called Cases. Andrea, if you search on my, on my channel, uh, Russian Cases, or just Cases, you're going to find a lot of videos about that. Uh, could you please feminine nouns? 
Thank you guys for answering the question. Movies and daily activities to help a lot. Describe. Uh, it's hard for me to read all of the comments. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm missing yours. I'm sorry. Maybe we can create Russian English flashcards. Yes. Yes. A lot of new things are coming up, guys. I have to many ideas, and I have to execute them one by one. So it's uh, it's it's still hard for me to just like boom. Here you go. Here's everything. I'm still doing it one one by one because I have to test it out if it works or not, and then we can move on and do something else. A video about the verb in Russian will be great. I have made a video about uh, um, verbs of action. Check it out on the channel as well. Just search for it. Uh, hey, how are you? I would love to meet you someday. Thanks. I've been getting better in Russian. Please teach me in person. Gay boy Jonah, uh, reach out to me on Facebook if you want for, if you want private lessons. And uh, this is a great opportunity for me to actually shout that out. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm doing a consultation video. Uh, I'm doing consultations, okay? So what it is, is once a week, we, I come together with my students and we go over what they've learned over the week. So it's basically, I'm not the teacher. I am just the one who controls what you are learning yourself and answering questions. And maybe uh, I, I will give you like advice and suggestions on, on, on what to learn. We can talk in Russian. We can discuss topics but the reason why i don't do teaching like tutoring for example is because the student usually relies on the teacher completely and they forget to put any effort in themselves okay and that's why i'm doing the consultation thing which is once a week we come together it doesn't have to be like an hour session it can be three or four hours if, if needed be okay uh usually i'm doing like two hour sessions a uh, one by one of course one on one and that's Fifty dollars a week for some of you it might be too costly i understand that but that's like a private teaching private coaching pretty much in russian so where i fully commit myself to you and you can text me at any time of day you want i will usually answer like in a day or two well like not in a day or two if you text me at night i'm gonna respond in the morning so um that's great and those of you who might be interested in that please reach out to me i would love to help you we gotta move this think faster because uh, we got to get into the lesson itself. Um, boom, 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 boom. Get more creative as time goes by. Yeah, thank you. Could you make some good movies again? Oh, you said that. Yeah, basically, would be good. Oh. Could you give some tips on how to get used to Russian format keyboard? Let me actually take notes of all of this because I will forget knowing what kind of memory I have. I'm going to forget this. A tip for the channel would be creating a, j a jingle for your videos. What is a jingle? I don't know what the jingle is. Could you recommend some children's books? I don't know any books. Guys, I'm so sorry. I will, I will definitely, as time goes on, I'm going to know more and more of this. But please, give me some slack here. Find a lot of favorites on there. Oh, uh, VK movies dubbed in Russian. Yeah, movies, yeah, in the VK a lot. Perhaps you could make videos about small segments of Russian films and integrate it with grammar listening. Uh, for example, Eronia Studibu. Yes, head in box. Yes, definitely. Thank you much. Da, 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 da. Come on, chatting. Uh, the was good. Can you make a website where you give recommendations for Russian workbooks? Okay, and learning a new language for now. Cat, I'm going to be I'm going to be learning French, but not anytime soon. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the comments here. I'm, re I'm responding to Cat, uh, which is uh, this one in language for now um so yeah i will learn french but once i have be fluent under control because right now it's just crazy developing uh and i have to you know take it slowly can you make a website where you give recommendations for russian workbooks i'm gonna answer this question real quick me and my friend dear friend we are working on a website right now uh you know you know that, that we already have a website with a book uh, you can check it out too in it's in, in the description down below uh and the huge vision for that is going to be for any Russian learner who comes to that website. You have all the tools that you might need, that you might possibly need for you to master Russian. It's going to be uh, like a feed and there's going to be a lot of videos. First of all, it's going to be my videos. Secondly, I'm going to be asking other YouTubers if I can just, you know, embed their videos on that website. So when a learner comes to that website, he's going to have all the videos about Russian, 
all the things that he needs uh, to learn it. For example, gra uh, grammar rules or vocabulary or articles. It's all going to be structured so that when you come there, you have, for example, videos about, let's say, cases. You're going to have a video about cases. You're going to have an article about cases. Like everything that you might need is going to be there. And of course, it's a long project and we are trying to start it soon. You know, we both are, have no experience in that. We both are pretty new to this and we don't have any resources like major, you know, funds to invest in the website because we don't know what we're looking for. So we're going to start it slowly. And on that website, guys, I'm telling you, you're going to be, you're going to be loving it because it's just every, every, every single thing that you might want or you might need or you might uh, find interest in is going to be there for sure. Because we're going to be, of course, talking to you guys. You say, hey, why don't you have any, I don't know, translator, translators? Boom, here you go, the translator. You know, so it's going to be a very communicative uh, type of type of service. Okay, and I'm very excited about that. It's a major project of mine. And uh, basically, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm leaving everything uh, that I was doing before. Uh, I was doing some other stuff to earn some money. I'm leaving that completely because I want to focus on this. And uh, I, I, I see that you guys are interested, that you guys have um, like a major interest in that. So I cannot just do it halfway. So I'm, I'm focusing completely on that. And I'm very excited about that. So stay tuned. I'm going to always like let you know about the updates. I'm going to always do that because, uh, you know, you're my... You, my viewers. Okay, something else I want to talk about. Um, well, first of all, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I already said that. Instagram right here on your screen. Facebook is in the comment, uh, is in the description, but it's basically like Be Fluent channel. Yeah, it's, it's Be Fluent channel. But if you just search for Be Fluent, you're going to find it as well. Uh, because uh, many of you guys are asking me questions in the comments. And sometimes I get to them later than I would I would have otherwise. And you always can DM me, uh, direct, direct message me, write me a message, email, whatever. I want to help you guys. And a lot of you hesitate a lot. And I don't like that, okay? Uh, you don't need to hesitate. You just need to tell me, Fedor, I'm struggling with so-and-so, with so-and-so. I'm going to be like, hey, here's a solution for you. And many of you did, and I, I helped many of you. So please do that. Then I want to say that... Um, I am. I have created. Let me actually show you this one too. Okay, let's go to the browser again. Um, hold on. Let me. Okay, zoom out of everything. Okay. Um, uh, let me see if it's in this one or not. No, not in this one. But uh, let me show you. So every single time when I'm using some, um, um, what is it called? Like a document, I'm going to always upload it on Google Doc now. And we're going to have our Russian Google Doc. For example, um, conjugation with Sia. It's a participatory number 14. And let's see if we go... If we go to the description, uh, drive. This is the, the link to the document. If you click on the drive, you're going to be able to access the file. See BFluent files right there at the top? I'm not sure if you can see that actually. No, you can't. Uh, but, okay, let me let me fix that real quick. See Google Drive uh, right there at the top? BFluent files. Here you go. And you see Worksheet for SA, Life. Uh, this is the, the, the one for now. Exercise for practice Friday number 12 and then practice Friday number 14. So you can access all these files and download them to your computer with uh, with no you know problem. Uh, and I, I did this because you guys asked me to. As you can see, I am following you guys' advice, your suggestions, because I want to improve upon uh, my services. So here you go. You asked for it. Here you go. I'm going to be uploading this um, th these worksheets on the drive now where, where you can access it you know, print it out, whatever. So um, that's gonna be that's gonna be it, it for now. Let me write some read some comments real quick. Um, poem, pronounce B. I mean, when how to use it in a sentence? Workbooks. Boom, 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 boom. Like the idea of creating a library of professional learning videos. You should all, books. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Books. Everything. Everything that you can think about. We we have thought about that too, and we are going to do that. But it takes it takes time. You know, we don't have a huge uh, team of people that we can, you know, just do a lot of. 
So we're gonna take it slowly. Um, listen, please. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm taking too long. Sorry, I want to listen. Yep. Uh, name Katusha has a historic meaning. Um, okay. Okay. And finally, last thing. Last thing, Gilbert. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gilbert, but last thing I have to say is uh, we have done a lot of things uh, and we did char charity with the, with the channel. E basically, every single month, 20% of all the income from the channel, regardless of the source of it, is going to be donated somewhere. And you guys decide where. And you can vote for that and maybe give me some suggestions on the Facebook page where I ask you, hey, I'm going to donate uh, today or tomorrow. Please send me all your charities that you have heard of heard of or donated to and thought of and you send me that and i'm donating to those um, companies to those um, organizations and i'm going to do that tomorrow since it's the end of the month it's going to be the 31st so i'm going to do that tomorrow so if you if you have any suggestions about the charities that we might do please 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 go to facebook and text me there but we're going to start with the lesson finally guys finally um here it is Okay, let me actually first talk about, about what we're going to get into. We're going to talk about how to build um, complex sentences in Russian. Basically, for example, I love an ice cream that is big. You know, so those complex sentences where there is two subjects and two verbs. Okay, and that's what we're going to cover today. We're not going to cover how to build them because it's pretty straightforward just like in english right you have one subject plus a verb then it's going to be a connector word in between them and then there's going to be another subject and verb what we are going to talk about is those connector words okay uh because a lot of you asked about it a lot of you ask about separate ones for example you ask about что and you ask about чтобы for example but they're all part of one topic so I decided to connect them all into one and talk about that today. So let's get into the lesson, guys. And let me get into my teaching mode instead of just talking about teaching mode. So first one is the reason. Uh, we have complex sentences based on the reason. You know, I have done something because of this. In English, we have two main things, uh, two main... Let me actually get into this and uh, correct as we go. Uh, two main words for that is because and since. You know, for example, I love ice cream because it's tasty. Or since ice cream is tasty, I like it. So it's a reason why we're doing certain things. And um, in Russian, because is going to be потомушта. Потомушта. And since is going to be так. And now let's get let's get into the examples because based on example, I think is the best way to learn it. So, я не люблю зиму. I don't like winter, потому что because зимой холодно. It is cold in the winter. Зимой is in the winter, right? Холодно is cold. So, потому что in this case is going to be a reason why we don't like winter because it's cold in the winter, okay? And that's the reason, okay? Also, one note, потомушта, uh, basically the reason with uh, with the uh, word потомушта can only be at the end, okay? We cannot say потомушта, like, we cannot reverse this. We cannot just put this part in the beginning. We cannot do that, okay? We cannot, because потомушта is only after the fact itself. So the fact is, I don't like winter. And then the reason is after this. Uh, just like in English as well, we cannot say, because it's cold in the winter, I don't like winter. Of course, we can say that, but it's not going to be like uh, correct grammatically, like entirely correct. It's going to sound a little bit weird, right? But when we use takak, takak is since. I know it's kind of hard to pronounce, but takak, uh, you can put it in the beginning and at the end. For example, так как я давно не играл в теннис, since I didn't play tennis for a long time, я играю плохо. I play badly. So, in this case, since and the reason is going to be in the beginning, right? So with так как, так как, 
we can put it in the beginning and at the end. And I'm showing you this over here. We just, you know, switched two parts. Um, the places of two parts, we switched that. So it's going to be, я играю плохо, I play badly, так как я давно не играл в теннис. Since I didn't play tennis for a long time. So, with так как, we can, you know, switch them up because it's not going to hurt us at all. But with потому что, we cannot. But they both, both are going to be the reason uh, words, okay? Words of reasoning. When we are uh, making a complex sentence, when talking about the reason, we can use both, and they both are going to be applicable. Let's go to the next one, which is going to be purpose. Uh, when, in fact, let me go into comments and see what you guys think about that one. If you have any questions, uh, is it daylight? Yeah, it's uh, 8 a.m. here. Uh, nice. How now? How about lesson now, Gilbert? <laughs> is a Korean model cool? Uh, from Sweden, no ideas. Let, yes, yes, you are. Check if, uh, first thing. So interesting. But then, play verbs prefixes. I made a video about that. So, I guess there is no questions about that. You know, famous with substance. Okay. One phrase I'd like to learn is uh, I can tell someone to do something. Example: I want to. Do, I want you to do this. I need you to do this. To go there. Okay. Uh, fast raccoon. We're gonna talk about that right now in this video. And since you wanted like the example. I'm gonna give you the example and put it on the screen as well. Oh, I'm not showing you what I'm. I'm not showing you w w where I'm at. Okay. Uh, I'm right here with the comments, and Raccoon just asked me. I want you to do this. Can you give advice to how to good Russian, like how to talk to get in culture of Russian life? I'm gonna do that later. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot um, answer the questions like that because I'm trying to do the lesson. So if you have. Oh, okay. There's a good question. What's the what's the difference потому как and потому что? Um, потому как. Let me think about it. In fact, they're going to be mostly the, they're very very similar, and they both mean reasoning. And uh, this stuff, guys. Uh, let me let me get back to this. This stuff is not. These are not the only two um, words that we can use. There are many many more. There are like seven more, and you can. Uh, Look it up yourself and, and see which ones there are. You can do that. Just search it in a Google, you know, uh, Russian complex sentences. And, and it's going to come up. That's how I found it. That's how I had a reference for this lesson as well. So if you want more of these, you can always search and find more. These are just the most basic ones. Okay. These are not the only ones. They're the most basic ones. Okay. So if you uh, want more for example, потому как, um, then you can just search search in Google and find more of them because there are maybe like seven more, something like that. But basically, потому как, как is going to be how, but что is going to be what, okay? And um, потому is going to be like that's kind of, right? Потому что that's what, you know, made me do it. But потому как is going to be that's how made me do it but that's very like small detail and mostly it's not going to be taken very like uh, literal so a lot of the times it's going to be just out of order you know and patamukak is very very close to patamushta and they can be on all, all almost used as interchangeable okay let's get into that right now and then i'm going to answer that question head in the box keep that question and if i forget about it please remind me now let's go to purpose. Purpose. Uh, when we are saying that I did this because I wanted to do to do that, or in order to, or so that, or to. You know, in English, oops. Uh, in English, we say a lot, a lot of. Let me put it in a in the text. To text. Okay, got the size. Let me just do the twenty-eight. Um, I need to, um, I need, okay, I need you to go. And in Russian, we don't quite say it like that. We don't say, we don't say, I need you to go. Uh, in Russian, this to, why did it just disappear? Did I press X? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see. Um, I need you to go. 
Yeah, I think I, I pressed X. So, um, this two in English is going to be just a, a small preposition. Well, in Russian, it's going to become a whole complex sentence. Okay? Um, like, in, in Russian, it's going to be something like this. Let me put the text next to it. Я хочу, чтобы ты пошел. So, come up a little bit. So, in this case, as you can see, we have чтобы instead of uh, to. So, I is я, need, oh, actually, I, I said want. This is, this is want. Sorry, but um, I could have used need. It doesn't really matter, okay? So, basically, хочу is want, you is ты, go, пошел. And then two is going to be чтобы. So in Russian, whenever we have something like a purpose, we need somebody to do something for us, or we want somebody to do, to do something for us, or we, or we bought this for something. Whenever there is a purpose, most likely in Russian, we're going to use this one, чтобы. чтобы. And it means like to, in order to, or so that. For example, uh, actually we have examples here. Я купил ему телефон, I bought him a phone, чтобы его контролировать. Чтобы uh, его контролировать is to control him. Okay, it's a purpose. Or we can say, I bought him a phone with a purpose to control him. You know, it's a purpose. Why we bought a phone is a purpose. It's not a reason necessarily, because reason is mostly going to be in the past, while purpose most likely is going to be in the future. Most likely, okay? Not all the time. Sometimes there are exceptions, of course. Like in all the Russian rules, there are exceptions. Like in this one, too. Um, so, I hope this is kind of clear. And um, let's look at another one, too. Чтобы не забывать русский, in order to not forget Russian, я его каждый день практикую. I practice it every day. Okay? Again, this part is as a purpose why are we practicing russian every day for us not to forget it okay we're doing something because we want some certain outcome okay in order to achieve something and as you have noticed already uh and the purpose part of, of a sentence can be in the beginning and at the end it doesn't really matter okay as you can see here it's in the beginning here is at the end okay so that's about purpose. And also there are more of them more of the words, but чтобы is going to be the main one. It's going to be like the majority of the cases is going to be чтобы. Uh, now let me go to the comments and see what you guys have asked. Do you have any questions about this? If you do, put them in this comment in, in the live chat. I'm going to answer them all. Okay, but for now we only have um, let me show you. We only have head in the box. Как правильно писать чтоб, чтобы and чтобы. Okay. Uh, чтобы, this one is going to be something different. If you have watched my video about be, it's more of like would. I would do that. Okay? So, чтобы is going to be like a separate thing. It's not going to be close to the first two that you outlined. The, the, these two. And чтоб, this one right here, is a shorter version of full чтобы. So, sometimes we just shorten it. For us to like maybe not say an extra vowel when it's not needed, okay. But the correct one is чтобы, okay. Um, so yeah, uh, this one is going to be way different чтобы because it's going to be like a um, I forgot what, what it is. Gee, well, like I would have done would have done something. I would do something. I forgot the name of it. Sorry. Uh, so it's going to be something different. It doesn't. It doesn't relate to our topic right now. What is the case of that word? Still getting the hang of the word change. Which one, Thomas? Uh, which word? There, there are many of them. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, the cases is, is, the, is the topic that a lot of people struggle with. But, I always tell you guys that cases is not the most important thing. And if you're struggling, but you don't see that you're, that you're getting the results of that. Like, you've learned it, cases. But you haven't haven't gone much further in your Russian. Just abandon the cases entirely. Cases are going to be your enemy in the beginning. You're welcome, head in the box. Okay, let's get back. Since you guys don't have any questions, 
let's get back to to our to our lesson um, condition. And by the way, guys, I'm I think I'm experiencing some difficulties um, with this chat. Can you see me well? Because uh, it says that my stream health is not is not is not too good. So can you guys see me well? Please <clears throat> please let me know in the comments. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let me open this tab with the comments here. Here it goes. Uh, um, Thomas, is not, is, is not going to be conjugated. It's going to be just, just like a separate word. We don't conjugate it because we only conjugate adjectives and nouns. Okay. Okay, head in the box. Thank you for saying yes. Okay, because I, I'm just really concerned. I, I don't want to talk about something and then you miss like a half of it because of a bad connection. Okay, good. Okay, got it. Thank you, guys. Um, Yes, we can. All right, great, great, great. So now, uh, now let me go back to this. Boom. Condition. You know, um, in English, it's going to be if. If I want to go to the party, then I'll go later. Or um, if I want to eat, I'm going to go downstairs. Whatever. So the condition of something to happen um, when we are... When we would do something, but only if something else happened, okay? And I, I don't have to explain it too much because you you know English and if in English is going to be just like Russian, yesly, yesly, okay? Um, there's not really, really to talk about here. Let's just jump straight into the examples. Если ты будешь есть конфеты, if you will be eating candy, то будешь толстым, then you'll be fat. Okay, so the condition is here, if you're going to eat candy, then you're going to be fat. Okay, fat is the outcome. This is, okay, condition, outcome. If the condition is not met, the outcome will not be there. So if you don't eat candy, you're not going to be fat. Well, that's just like an example. Of course, you're going to be if you eat like bread or something. Um, so condition, and condition is shown with yesly. Okay, yesly. And... Well, let me talk about that later. Yeah, uh, second example is Я не рассержусь. I will not get angry если ты уедешь. If you will go away or, or drive away. Okay? So, um, in this case, again, this is the condition. This is the outcome. Outcome is like, I, I will not be angry. And the condition, if you will go away. So, this is like a basic logic, you know, lesson or tip. Uh, of how to use the condition. Of course, if you know it in English, then you're not going to have any problem with this. But let me talk about something else. Uh, whenever we have the condition before outcome, then the outcome is going to start with to. To right here. See? So, it's going to be like something if, then. If, in, if you're going to eat candy, then you'll be fat. Okay? And that's going to happen in maybe like 85% of the cases, because that's just the rule of Russian. Sometimes we can omit this to, because it's already clear that this is the outcome, okay? But a lot of the times, we're going to still have this to uh, after after the condition part of it, okay? Do you have, do you have, do you have any questions, guys? Uh, let me know. Um, let's go to the comments. My Ukrainian wife is make snuba. What is snuba? Um, do, you have, do you guys have any questions with, with the condition thing? If you do, please put them in the comments. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reply to them. But if not, we're going to continue with another one, which is the last one, I believe. It's talking about the fact. Fact over here. And this one is going to be the most interesting because it's going to be the most diverse. Okay? Um, for one simple reason. When we're talking about the facts, a lot of the times it's many, many things, right? For example, uh, we can say what, where, when, why, um, what else, who, and more of these. And there's going to be more of fact type of sentences, right? Because fact is, uh, what do I refer to as fact? It's when, for example, with, uh, with this one, with what, right? Oh, in fact, sorry, I made a mistake. Is uh, in fact, mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah, this one is going to be 
is going to be that. Sorry, guys, I made a mistake, but it's kind of close to what to. But anyway, um, it's going to be many sentences and many cases, many instances when we're going to be using that, when we're going to be using where, and when we're going to be using when. For example, I want to go home when I will get tired. You know, so it's like a, it's a complex sentence. I want to go home first part when I get tired second part. And the connection is going to be when in that case. For example, with where, we can say, I want to go somewhere where it is hot. You know, it's a fact. Somewhere where it is where it is hot. So where it is hot is going to be a fact. Okay, it's not going to be like a condition. It's not going to be an outcome. It's not going to be a purpose. It's not going to be uh, a reason. It's going to be a straight out fact. Okay, the same with, uh, with that. Um, I want something that is good. That is good is going to be a fact, straight fact. Again, it's not a condition, not a reason, not anything. It's a straight fact description of, uh, of, um, of an object or of an of a event, whatever. So these, these things are going to represent the, what is it called? I just said that, the description of something, you know. Uh, when is gonna is gonna describe the description is gonna be a description of of time. Where is gonna be a description of a place. That is gonna be a description of an object, right, or something. So, and there are many more, of course. But I'm giving you just the juice, just the best parts of it. So, yeah. Uh, let's start with uh, что. Что is very easy to confuse with чтобы, which is this one. But it's not the same, it's just without B. Let's go back. Что is going to be a fact when we're talking about, uh, when we're describing something. For example, let's use this example real quick. Я буду пить то, что у вас есть. I'm going to be drinking what that you have, that you have. But it's, it's kind of like incorrect translation. Basically, it means I'm going to be drinking what you have or that what you have. Okay, so that's why I said it can be what and it can be that. So in this case, I shouldn't have even erased what because sometimes it's going to be what and sometimes it's going to be that. Okay, so I'm going to be drinking what you have. Like I'm not picky. I'm not going to say I don't want milk if, if, if you only have milk. I want juice, you know, so I'm going to be drinking whatever you have, basically. Um, next one is где, which is where we're describing the location. So где is going to be... Um, an equivalent of where. So, есть магазин, go to the store or drive to the store, где есть много продуктов, where there are many products. Okay, like, for example, you went to a small little shop, like a corner store, and they didn't have, for example, tires for your car. I don't know. And your mom says, go to the store that has a lot of products and buy there. So, that's going to be the example. And again, где... This the whole of this part right here is going to describe magazine as a place, right? We're describing a place. This is a place. Place. Okay. So magazine is a place, and we're describing that place with the second part of, of a sentence. All right. And final one is когда. Когда is when. We're describing the time. Я выйду. I will go out. Когда ты будешь готов? When you'll be ready. We could have said, я выйду тогда. Oh, this is my bad writing with a mouse. Sorry, guys. I will go out. I will, I will go out at a time when you will be ready. When you will be ready is describing a time when I will go out. Okay? Again, this is not easy to comprehend. This might be difficult. But um, in English, sometimes we don't even have um, those connector words. For example, um, not even in, in the fact, let's go to mostly in, in purpose, right? Um, I need you to go, for example. Sometimes we can omit this too, but in Russian, we always, always, always need these connector words regardless of whether, you know, it's a small sentence, whether in English we can omit that. In Russian, always think about this. Whenever you have a complex sentence, ask yourself, did I include a connector word? Did I include it? If not, fix that problem. Because in Russian, 
without the connector words, it's not going to make sense, you know? I don't know why. Of course, sometimes it can be logical to just say, okay, I don't need any connector word here because it's clear that, for example, I'm describing a place, right? Even though it is clear, it is not going to be correct necessarily. Just because you, just because it's logical, it doesn't mean that we don't, we have to, we can omit um, the connector word itself, okay? So always remember, whenever you have a complex sentence in Russian, Ask yourself a question. Did I include this connector word? All of these. Что, где, когда, чтобы, если. All of these and many, many more that you might find on the internet. Ask yourself. Did I include it? If not, fix it. Okay? So, I am done with this. We don't have any more pages of this. Uh, let me basically just go over real quick. Let's start with the first one. Reason. Whenever we have a reasoning of something, we're going to use потомушта and как. Потомушта is because, так как is since. Then we have чтобы, when we're talking about purpose. When we've done something with an intent for it to, to do something for us in the future, mostly in the future, or in the present. That's purpose. Then it's condition. For something to get done, we need something else to get done first. You know, if you do this, I will do that. If is going to be conditioned and it's going to be expressed with если. And finally, fact, whenever we're describing something, whenever we're describing a place, a time, um, a, a reason, um, I don't know, person, fact, it doesn't matter. Uh, we, we're, always going to be, we're always going to be using uh, e either these three or some more of the same category. Что, где, and когда, and many, many more. And that is it for this lesson. Let's see what you guys have in the comments. And I'm going to reply to your questions about this topic, maybe about something else. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay. What is literal translation of to or in so on? Does it mean but? To? No. To means then. Uh, means, okay. Oh, I'm not showing. Boom. This to means then. Okay. For example, I, as I said in that, okay, let, let me go back to this real quick. Boom. Boom. So, if you're going to be eating candy, then you'll be fat. So, to is going to be then in this case. All right? Uh, but I think that you're, you're referring to this. No. No is going to be but. Boom. Oh, I just see your next comment. Jesus Christ. Wait, never mind. I mixed up with no. Yeah, no is going to be but. No is going to be then. Then, it's an if, then, yeah, it's an if, then sentence. Yes, correct. Fast Raccoon, thank you so much for your help. Uh, so, does it mean then? So, could I say то что, then what? Um, yes, for example, if you say, uh, I'm putting this in the comments, uh, so you guys can check it out yourself too. Uh, for example, Я купил то, что я хотел. And you see, that the comma is going to separate them too, but, if, but don't worry about the punctuation yet, okay? So, я купил то, что я хотел. But то, in this case, is going to be that. So, it doesn't have to be then at all times. Uh, I bought that, what I wanted. So, то is going to be that, что is going to be what. I bought that what I wanted. Okay, boom. I sent it to, to the comments. So, to um, can adapt depending on what meaning the sentence has. It can be then, it can be that, it can be there. For example, um, um, <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, in fact, it's not going to be there. It's going to be that in this case, too. Well, probably, yeah, it's going to be either, either that or then. See, I, I have to think about these two. Because it doesn't come naturally to me. So, okay, never mind. Um, Notion keyboard. How uh, how could say, no еще что, which is, so what? You Oh, you could say, I don't get this question, sorry. Hi, Fedor, hello. No и что, okay, no и что. Yeah, it's like, and so what? No, I don't get this question. I'm sorry. 
I meant in the context of you asking what's going to be next, such as you, we are going to restore, then what? Ah, okay, okay. Uh, then what is going to be, oops, it's going to be потом что. And потом is going to be like, and what's after and what's what's then, like what's after the action. So потом что, what, what's after that? So потом что is going to be the one. Uh, that's up, up a потом, yeah, up a потом can be uh, applied too. That's right. First time watching you actually live, Dipayan, I'm happy you made it because you've been a long, uh, lifelong viewer. Yes, after that, uh, I think a потом, oops, skip, yep, yeah, yes, not so because to to что. No, it would, it would not be correct. To что would not be correct in that uh, case. Is that common to ask in the situation? Would you be understood? No, you would not be understood. So, uh, а потом, or потом что, you can say it, but uh, то что, it's, uh, no, it's, it's not correct. Because, because то is going to be a connector word, and it doesn't make sense by itself. When it's not connecting something, it's not going to make a lot of sense. Братан, сейчас 6.48 утром, что ты делаешь? Это, это Урал. So, he's saying, uh, he's in Russia. Luca, he texted me in uh, VK. Um, um, she said, Fedor, brother, why are you why are you early? Why are you up so early? Well, uh, Luca, here it is 8:53 already. So I'm up because my viewers in the in the US are getting I get are going to bed already. So that's why I'm up. Uh, I heard the one koya sto. What is koya? Koya? Okay. Okay, koya sto. Okay, I'm answering this question by the way. Uh, sto is going to be what? Koya is. Um, um, somewhat, like it's a, like кое что. For example, uh, if I say я делаю кое что, I am doing something. Or um, if we say я uh, вижу, oops, вижу кое кого, I am seeing, I see somebody. So кое is going to be some, and a lot of the times we say кое for example, when we're not trying to disclose who that person is, for example, or what what that thing that we are doing, it's like a secret. We keep that in a secret most of the times. But koye means like some. Uh, we can say koye kagda, koye kagda is uh, some when I guess uh, it doesn't make sense in uh, in in English, but that's how we use it. So yeah, it's kind of like that pattern. I know many Russian words, but I keep using the wrong endings. I try to learn the cases, but they are very confusing. The endings are, are the only thing I have problems with. Do you have any advice? Do you know any other YouTubers who teach like you, like how you do but with different languages? No, I don't, uh, gay boy Jonah. Sorry, I don't know that. Um, because I'm, I'm, I'm a unique person. I'm a unique person. But uh, no, I just, I just don't watch them because uh, I'm not learning any, any language at the moment. But probably in, in the future, five years from now, on this channel, or maybe another channel, be fluent in Spanish, I don't know. It's going to be the same concept, but uh, a different teacher, a different language. But uh, to go to this question about the cases, I've been telling you guys for a long time, forget about cases. If you're struggling with the cases, then it means that you don't need them yet. Okay? What I mean by that is, a lot of you guys just learn the cases because you get corrected a lot by people like native speakers. For example, you say, Я хочу машина, and they're going to say, машину. And that bugs you a lot. But I want to go to, them, to those people who give you that, you know, correction and just slap them, say, заткнись, shut up, don't say that. Because for a native speaker, of course, it's not going to be the most correct. But do you think I don't understand when you say, Я хочу машина? I know, that, I know that you mean, I want a car. Regardless of the ending, whether it's right or wrong, I understand you. And those Russian speakers or those learners who are already advanced and, and correct people based on cases, I dislike them, those people a lot because the message is still understood. And if you understood the message, why the heck would you need to correct them? And then the learners think, well, they correct me, they correct me a lot on these cases. I must learn them. But then they get to it and it's so hard and it's hard to memorize them. My first suggestion. 
ignore all the ending um, comments and corrections because those are very minor, very minor. Regardless of the ending, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know which word you're trying to use, okay? But if you do feel like you need to learn them, if you do feel like you're ready, like you're going to understand them, then I have maybe like, what, 10 videos about cases. Uh, you can check them out on my channel. It's, it's a separate playlist for cases. Learn them. And then I also, I also suggest you practice them, like create different sentences with them, uh, play around. Of course, you have to memorize the table of the endings because there's just no way to understand that. You have to memorize it. But then just learn many other, like learn from many other sources, like uh, search on Google, uh, search on many other places, you know, just search for it and find different types of information about it because I can teach you this way and you might not get some aspect but somebody else approaches from a different angle and they're gonna do do a better job than than I did at that small detail okay so basically get a lot of opinions get a lot of sources where you are learning from and do that okay let me go back to um, other questions I speak English and Spanish and I'm mostly learning German Polish oh gee Okay, let me show you. He's trying to do so many languages. <laughs> uh, he's learning many languages. Well, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know the channels for that. If I did, I would have told you. Again, as the time goes on, my ultimate goal, guys, uh, for those who did not know, uh, I, mean, I haven't been talking about that much, but is to change the way people are learning languages. I have noticed that a lot of people just learn the wrong approach is uh, for example they, le they learn cases when they don't need to okay and uh, i want to change that i want to kind of kind of create a different approach to that i don't know which one is going to be but it's going to be more effective than what is taught right now in schools i want to get to schools and i want to i want to get to public schools that are teaching languages all around the world and tell them hey you're doing a bad job as you can see you've been teaching these kids for well, a hundred and more years and you still see that they don't get the results so mu something must be wrong so it's my uh, goal to change that and um, okay let me go back to the comment boom, 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 boom. and all of these languages I'm gonna tackle sooner or later and if you like this approach if you like the way I'm teaching then you're gonna like like the way I'm gonna be teaching other languages or other people are gonna be teaching other languages okay so don't worry, I'm gonna do that. But just later, much later, you might even you might already master those languages by that time. Uh, can you give me some advice? Unfortunately, I don't know that many language learning websites. Uh, I would suggest you just uh, maybe uh, use Duolingo as much as you want. Uh, use other services, maybe paid services like Babbel, for example, or what's the other one? iTalk. I'm not sure if that's even like a so basically, like use use resources. Look it up, and I'm sure that you can find useful information for yourself. What's the difference between koishto and shtota? Koishto is like something, but shtota is more more like specific. So koishto is going to be something when you don't want to disclose what it is, like something like whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is. But shtota is something, but you are sp uh, specific with with it. So, Shtota is going to be more specific, while Koshta is going to be not specific. Udachi, da, 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 da. what's the difference between Kuda? Gde is where, Kuda is where to. So, Kuda is Kuda ti idiosh, where to are you going? It's like a direction. Well, Gde is a location. Gde, ya doma, ya gde, I am at home, location. Kuda, where, to where, you know? Uh, uh, gde is location, Kuda is direction. Okay, uh, is something when we, we don't try to disclose what it is. Shtonibut is whatever. Shtonibut means whatever, it doesn't matter what it is, is is is, is gonna be okay. And shtota is something specific. Boom. I'm back. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brian. It's good to see you here. What do you think about Ukrainian and Russian? What is the differences between them? Well, it's very similar. Um, I bet if I would start learning Ukrainian, I would learn it maybe like in a year or something because it's very similar um i haven't like jumped into the language itself um so i i don't really i don't really know the major differences but they sound similar 
But if I would read them, I probably would not understand uh, completely. I would get maybe like 30%. Привет, uh, Fedor, Indonesian Russian in Russian Embassy in the Indonesia, good for you. Last week I just learned about verb of motion. Have you uploaded a video about it? Yes, I've, I've, I've uploaded a video about uh, to go verbs. Check it out. Hi from Panama, hello. Uh, how's your name pronounced in Russian? Is Fyodor. Fyodor. Or short version is Fedja. Fedja. So Fyodor and Fedja. Notice that you could baby video when you're vacuuming and seeing the parents call you Fyo. For sure. No, it's just me saying uh, Fyo because I couldn't pronounce my whole uh, name. And I said Fyo. Fyo. So, yeah. The difference between the Russian spoke and Russian as uh, Russia and Belarus. Belarus, they have their own language. Belarusian language. Uh, but uh, probably not, 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 not that much of a difference because a lot of people live in, a lot of Russians live in Belarus. Uh, is it possible to say что-то вроде? Is it possible to say какое-то вроде? No. Что-то вроде is, um, is correct? Кое-что? No. Кое-что вроде? No, not really. Что-то. Because you're trying to be specific. Something like, you're not trying to say whatever like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not going to be that, that applicable. Bueno, certo son eso hermano. I'm not los hermano. I don't know what that means. No buena suerte. Like, good afternoon. Let me not be ignorant, guys. I'm sorry. But that's it, guys, for today. Thank you so much for watching this live stream, guys. I just want to say once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the strength and the energy to continue doing these things. I love it. I love interacting with you. I love teaching you guys because you are an amazing, amazing audience. Giving me feedback, giving me ideas. Like basically, we're working together, and I'm happy that it's not just me pouring into you; it's you pouring into me as well. So I'm really excited about that. I'm very excited, excited about what's to come. I am dedicating my entire self to this channel now. Before I was kind of like, eh, 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 you know, not sure. Uh, of course, I still have studying. I still have university. So after that, I have two more years. So after that, I, I don't know what's going to happen. But I feel strongly that I'm going to continue doing Russian lessons and continue being on this BeFluent channel for you all because I see a lot of uh, energy coming back to me. So thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, more things to come. Stay tuned. I'm going to be announcing them. If you want to stay tuned on another level, go to Facebook and go to Instagram. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, updates and announcements there. And just like more content. Basically more content there as well. So thank you so much for watching this live stream. And let me see what you guys are saying in the comments. Uh, just saying. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Happy a lot, Um Okay, you're easy to learn from. Thanks for doing your good teacher. Thank you so much, guys. I really, I really appreciate that. It's really a good thing to hear. Uh, that uh, It's like a val validation. I'm doing something right. So... Thank you all who are reaching out to me in, on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever you are. Just saying thank yous. It just makes my, my, my whole day, you know. It uh, gives me purpose to, purpose, purpose to exist. I'm just talking about purpose. Purpose to exist and purpose to do more, you know. So I'm very excited about what's to come. Thank you all who watched this live stream. And uh, thank you all who watched it in the archived version as well. But I'll see you next time. I'm going to be doing live streams on a monthly basis for sure. And with the upcoming website, I'm going to be doing them weekly. See you later.